Hi, uh, this is uh, addressing a comment uh, by somebody named Remy, I think, R-E-M-Y, Remy, Remy. Uh, yeah, I, there was a, Claire is posting some things for me on uh, Facebook, etc. And there's, you know, one of the, one of the posts was have a, the courage to walk away when something isn't suiting you. And, and that's uh, valuable advice, I think. I have talked about this before. I've talked about uh, the fact that we have taught our kids to quit early and often. Uh, particularly my daughter got into an apprenticeship. Uh, three weeks into it, she was getting ill, physically ill. She disliked it so much. She was in the kitchen in a four-star hotel in a resort ski town. And... Uh, basically working her butt off doing menial things and uh, talked to other kids had gone on another course within that course and saw that these kids were actually having fun and stuff and she came to us and she said uh, that uh, she wasn't done being a kid yet she is now at a four star resort in Italy on the beach we're going to see her next week uh, four different kitchens the Italians have fallen in love with her which I can imagine of course um, said with fatherly pride uh, and uh, working in the kitchen, and they're allowing her to do a lot of what she wants to do. But that quitting early and often is what got her where she is. And then you've got to go to that delicate, almost paradoxical uh, balance in life, where if you quit too early, uh, then there's benefits that you may have uh, missed by doing that. Then you've got to go out into the... Uh, <laughs> quantum physics world in a book called The Dancing Wu Li Masters where they say that there are so many parallel universes going on that regardless of what decision, major decision you've had to make in your life, you've made both of them. And your the one you're currently remembering is the one that you, you've made all these decisions to be here in. But uh, in one thing you're not, in one life you're not married, in one life you're married to somebody else, in one life, and there's all these uh, concurrent realities uh, I think it was Crichton's timeline, but the movie timeline does it quite well where, where they don't travel through time, they travel through uh, uh, into parallel universes. But yet life is a delicate balance. Uh, I love to train. I haven't been training in a while. I don't, my organizer is uh, trying to get me out know, through this medium, and uh, we're seeing how well that works. Uh, and I've said for years that I'm addicted to my work. So now that I haven't worked for a while, I find other things that are somewhat soothing. Uh, the ski season is over, so I'm uh, done there. Uh, we're traveling next week, which is one of the things that soothes my system. But I'm having to look around to see how to soothe my system without an audience, without interacting with people, uh, because it's at a lull period right now in my career. I'm looking forward, of course, to the future, which is being out of present time consciousness, yadda, 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 uh, to get with people, because I know that when I am with people, that makes a difference. I get my attention off of myself, that little voice inside my head quiets down, and I have fun most of the time. I'm at, uh, I travel next week to Italy, uh, so I can like possibly the next week after that to Spain to work, and um, then uh, on to America. Uh, to Santa Fe. Uh, my sister is uh, heavily involved in A Course in Miracles, has been for years, has taken up with a girl, uh, girl a woman named Nook, uh, who's written a book, Take Me to Truth. And I'm going to go take that course to see what uh, she has to say, you know, how to soothe the mind when I'm not working, how to keep that little ratty, shitty little voice making everybody wrong and making the world wrong. Uh, what is it for you? What is it that when you're doing it, uh, your mind quiets? Uh, apparently my brother can do it by walking in the woods uh, with his dog, and he does that regularly. And I admire that, people who find that which quiets their mind and does it, and, and does it consciously. And, okay, wait a minute, now my mind is quieting down. Sometimes when I meditate, sometimes not when I meditate. Uh, what is predictable is when I work. And if my mind does go mad, uh, I enjoy it. There's the big difference. Uh, there's criteria for getting me to come and see you. I'll be in Santa Fe, like I said, in uh, May, so I'll be in the States. Uh, I'm resurrecting Healing Through Humor, which uh, is humorous, and uh, 
people do get healed, but it doesn't have much to do with either of them. Uh, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to address the, you know, quitting early and often and don't walk away and do walk away. And a lot of it comes down to what you know. When to persist, when not to persist, when to walk away, when things are uncomfortable enough. Uh, only you know that. And this is the course of your life, and only you can do that. Uh, what I offer in my courses is a guidance mechanism that's designed to take you to more fun and happiness. It works. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com